All right, here's a look from Grand Forks at Jupiter and Saturn mingling in the night sky. These will be up for the next hour or so. So head outside, look low on the horizon to the southwest sky, and you'll see these faint little stars out there. The closest they've been together, as Mike mentioned, about 400 years. So this doesn't happen every day. Taking a look, though, we do have weather to be concerned about. First alert weather day was called for Wednesday last week because of a big change coming our way beginning Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Here's what we know. Here's what we're not sure of. Confidence is high in the timing starting very late Tuesday, lasting into Wednesday. Confidence is high. In, this system is going to make a lot of wind, gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. It's going to bring Arctic cold. And the wind is going to come with snow in places, so we could have zero visibilities out there making travel difficult, if not impossible. Lower confidence, though, in the exact track of the highest snowfall potential with the system as well. Here's the American model, and it's probably the most robust of uh, this snow uh, aerial coverage and intensity as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. The storm continues to bring snow into the midday hours for much of central Minnesota. All of us will get wind, all of us will get cold, and many of us will have difficult travel conditions. But here is our first estimation at the snowfall potential with this system. These will change because not all models are agreeing on the track of the storm, and it's still way out in the Pacific Northwest. But a trace to three inches for many in our northern half. Down south, some of you will see absolutely nothing but the wind. Two to six inches, very close to the international border, isolated places could get even more than that. And here is what you need to know about impacts. Snow and wind will combine to create near zero visibilities, making travel very difficult late Tuesday night and into Wednesday for much of the day. Then Arctic cold will cause wind chills we have not seen this season, approaching 40 to 50 degrees below zero into your New Year's Eve morning. There is the watch. It's for most of our counties here in the Red River Valley for Tuesday and into Wednesday. Here's the storm system way out to the west. Calgary getting some snow out there in Alberta. For us teens out in northwest Minnesota, the warm weather in central Dakota is in the 30s, and it's coming our way. South winds are going to develop tonight. It's going to bring this warmer air in our general direction as we go through the night. Currently out at Hector, we have 20 degrees on the thermometer. Wind is from the south, finally quieting down only 5 miles per hour. Your hour by hour forecast, watch the white line here. That's the freezing line, and it's slowly going to work its way into the picture as we go through the overnight and into the morning. That means steady temperatures to slowly rising for some as clouds and flakes of snow to begin the day caused by a warm front. The rest of the day, that warm front slowly progresses northward. There's the white line jumping all the way up into southern Canada. A lot of 30s across the region. But look at the wind arrows. Gusts over 40 miles per hour throughout the day. By tomorrow night, snow begins to develop in our northern and western counties. And the game will be on as far as the severe weather potential goes for our wintry event in Fargo. Temperatures in the mid-20s ramping up to near 40 with gusty south winds to around 40 miles per hour. Means you better use the extra hairspray. And this will be the warm up before the storm and before the cold gets here. Notice a lot of 40s out west. Here's the Arctic air. It makes its way in, lasts until Christmas Day. It looks mighty cold. Speaking of wintry views, in Walker, Teresa sent us this photo. All right, Wednesday, first alert weather day. Uh, snow will be exiting, but the wind and cold taking hold with dangerous wind chills into your Christmas Eve morning. After that, we slowly moderate, but Mike and Andrea, uh, how fast we moderate and how warm we get depends on how much snow as well. We will keep you posted. All right. We're hoping for as less snow as possible. <laughs>